Hello everyone, lovely to see you. Let's turn our candle on to start our assembly. Today we're going to be talking about uh, a name for God. And one of the names for God is Creator God. We often say he is a creator God. Uh, the word I was given by um, the diocese and the schools was Elohim which is one of the accepted seven names of God. But today, if we're going to talk about the creator God, I thought we'd start by just looking at the pictures of creation. In my uh, children's Bible, it says here that the world, right, in the beginning, the world was empty and darkness was everywhere. Can you see this picture? Right. And then it moves to this and says, God separated the light from the dark and said, there, let there be light. So there was light. And then let's see if you can see this picture. And it said, God said, I will divide the waters. And he separated the waters in the clouds, clouds above the waters. And the bit between he called sky. OK, so we've got two days now, on the third day, whoops, here we are this side. On the third day, God rolled back the waters and some of the dry ground appeared. And he made plants of many shapes and colours. He made mountains, hills and valleys. And that was the third day. Can you see that? That's what he did then. And God put a shining sun in the sky and he put a moon at night. So that's what he did on the fourth day. <coughs> Whoops, I've gone two pages at once. That's it. Then it starts getting even more interesting because then God made the fish and the creatures to live in the ocean. He gave, made the birds of the air and the fish of the sea. Oh, that's a much brighter one, isn't it? And then God made all the animals to go on the land. And that included us. He made people. So he made animals and people. And that was six days. And then he had a rest. So this creator God, he created all those things. That's amazing, isn't it? To be Just think how powerful you've got to be to be able to make light and dark and sea and the birds of the air and the fish of the sea and all of that, that powerful God. Mm, that's a word, isn't it? We often use and say God is powerful. The spirit has power. So I wonder what other words we might think of for our creator God. Someone who's our creator, what are they like? Someone who creates things, someone who can make things. So this is especially, I think, useful for our older children. I think key stage two, you could really do something with this. Think of some words. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say some words and let's see if I say some words that you haven't thought of. But I wonder if you're going to end up having to contact me and tell me there are words that you've got that I didn't think of or creator. Somebody who creates. Imaginative original, inventive, I've already said this one, powerful, loving, clever, generous, inspired, resourceful, giving, poetic oh I do think poetic just think God it's like poetry when he made all those things poetic a really tricky one maybe year five and year six expressionist and free thinking I know that's not one word it's two words but I think free thinking to be able to create you've got to be a bit free thinking haven't you and definitely You've got to be artistic. So I think those are some of my words for how I think of God as creator. But the important thing 
is why did he create it? Why did he create? I'm just going to read Psalm 8 to you. All right, Psalm 8 from my Bible. Psalm 8 says, O Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. And this is the important bit. It says, you have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and infants, you have founded a stronghold because of your foes to silence the enemy of the avenger. When I look at the heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have established, what are human beings that you are mindful of them, mortals that you care for them? See, that psalm reminds us that God made everything. God made everything in the whole world. So if he is that powerful, if he is that amazing, if he is that imaginative and creative, why did he make us? Why does he consider us human beings important? He made us in charge of all the earth. And yet, we haven't looked after it very well. But he trusted us and he still trusts us to make it even better, to make, to put right the things that we've done wrong. But why did he create us? Well, it says that he created us in his image. Do you know what that means? If we are in his image, it means we are, the, he made us like him. Wow. That means we are imaginative we are powerful, we are clever and generous and inspired and resourceful and artistic and expressionist. We are all those things because he made us like him. So if we are like him, how can we show that we're like him? Well, the biggest thing he was is loving. He made the earth so that we could live in it and he made everything so that we could love him. And he tells us, doesn't he, love one another. He says, you can show your love for me, God. He can show love for God by loving one another. Well, that's what we could do today, maybe. We can focus on knowing that we can be the creator image of him by loving one another. Older children, I would so love it if you were able to come up with some words that I haven't thought of that are about being a creator. And I could use them next time when I'm talking about creation. I'm sure everyone could do some fabulous pictures and maybe even a little bit of writing. Um, the, the Rotary Club do competitions and this year they have chosen for the young writer environment. And for the young artist, colour of nature. Oh, well, that fits in with creation perfectly, doesn't it? So maybe your teachers might like to enter the Rotary competition and see if one of your school can win. I'd love it if that happened. So everybody, today we're going to think about being a creator. We're going to be creative, imaginative, inventful, we are going to be poetic, just like that uh, beautiful Psalm 8, that poetic psalm. So remember to find ways to love God today. Love his earth, love all the things that you made. I know your, your school is fabulous at looking after the environment. So maybe just looking after the environment today will be about loving creation and the creator God. Thank you for listening to what I've got to say and thank you for all that you're going to try and do today and this week. And I will see you next week, but let's pray together first, shall we? Father, we thank you for the beautiful world that you created. We thank you that you give us so much opportunity to look after your world. And Lord, we thank you that you are the creator God and that you made us in your image. Give us inspiration and give us great ideas that we may find ways today and this week to make your world even better. Amen. 
Well, everyone, I'm going to give you a blessing and turn the candle off and then I will see you next week. May Jesus bless you. Bless those you love and all those who love you. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The world God created.